Check us out. All right, welcome to the Morning Luck Podcast. You are here with Fine One Two Twenty Seven, half of or well, one of the co hosts Hey, I got my man, my boy, uh, local resident, local creative, local speaker, local man. This man is just self awareness guru. Um, JP the third. Hey, give him a round of applause. Appreciate you. Welcome bro. to the show. Welcome to nah, the show. Thank you for having me. Oh man, me. for sure. For sure. Right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna cut right to the chase, you know what I'm saying, in this interview. Um, so just tell you know, so what do you do? Tell tell the people who you are, what do you do? hundred percent, definitely. Uh so I brand myself as a transformation coach. Oh <laughs> easy. Yeah. So mental health uh, is look, <laughs> you can't be better than your your habits. You know what yeah. you can never outperform your habits. And people spend a lot of time investing in their minds, you know, you invest in your, your food every day. Yeah. But people, like, they'll, they'll go to school and then they'll stop. But you got to eat every day, right? Yes, you feed right. your body every day. But That's people don't feed their minds. People don't change who they are. People don't level up. You'll turn in your phone and, like, upgrade that, but you don't upgrade, you know what I'm saying, your thinking system, your processes, your behaviors. And so what I am, I help people do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, Kobe and LeBron have coaches. Yeah. Jordan had a coach because they wanted to be great. So it's like, you need a coach too. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that I didn't have all the answers because I'm human just like everybody else. Exactly. It's level says, but I really, I help people stop self-sabotage. Yeah. That's where I come. I help people stop stopping themselves. I help them rewire their habits, rewire their belief system and take things to the next level. Bro, I'm gonna need, I mean, you can talk about this off the table, but I think I'm, I definitely, just with that story, I definitely need you to be part of uh, my curriculum. E. Yeah, <laughs> so that transformation, that's the second part of the mental. And so once I teach the mental how to get that structure right, where, you know, it's a vision board, then you got um, time management, because whatever you put on your vision board, you need to be able to time manage yeah. that. And to, or manage your time to get what you need, then it takes networking. Literally. Then it takes, you know, after that, the management of that, you know, either the relationship manager, workplace management, and then self-love. Yeah. But then you got to transfer that all into a new perspective and mindset right here. Yes. And then you got to do the action. Your, I think your part is on the action part, you know. So I, we definitely should talk about oh, that. Oh, yeah, we, we definitely, definitely tap in. I got a... Uh, I got... Yeah, so what has the experience been like, you know, since you've been doing it? You know, you've been doing it for two years, right? Uh, honestly, it's about a year. Okay. Year, you know what I'm saying? Probably like a year and a quarter. For All two, right, for we'll take that. Years, something like that. Yeah. Uh, so the way I got started, bro, honestly, I was, I don't know. I went to school. I did well in school, you know what I'm saying? I was an athlete. I got a, a full scholarship to a college, academic, yeah. out in uh, Kansas. I wanted to be an anesthesiologist. So I was know. thinking, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what you always heard, you know what I'm saying? Go to school, be a doctor, be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be the first black president. Obama beat me there, so I was like... You got to be 40. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look, I'm going to just go be a doctor. Yeah. And I figured that wasn't for me, bro. I was doing it for... Because that's what I was told to do. Mm-hmm. I was doing that for the family. I was trying to live the, what they wanted me to live instead of living for myself. Mm-hmm. And I realized, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what, that, that was my change, bro. Fuck yeah. what they thinking. And I, I ain't want to be disrespectful. 100%. And to anybody, fuck what they thinking, bro. Yeah. I ain't got time for it. Yeah. I got to live my life. Literally. Because it's all love. I know they want me to be this because this is what success is to them. But like that don't mm-hmm. mean it's congruent for, for me. So it just it didn't. It ain't make sense. Bro, so, you uh, preaching, I swear, I swear. <laughs> the I back swear. look, the background I come from, it's seven, you know what I'm saying? My mom has seven kids. Okay. It's six boys, one girl, and she's pretty much a single mom, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So she's working two full time jobs for like as long as I can remember. Yeah. So I was like, man, honestly, if I was gonna get a degree or something, I would wanna be like in business because I need to have a great understanding of money so I don't end up how my mom's in. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So I can help my mom's out. Yeah. So then I switched to a business degree, but there's like, I'm learning about business from people who don't know shit about business. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <that's> right. <laughs> so I transferred schools. I went to SLU for a semester. Okay. Same thing there. They were supposed to be, had like a great entrepreneurship program. I wouldn't fucking with that either. Mm-hmm. So I, I dropped out, started taking courses online, uh, did like a social media marketing thing. Yeah. A lot of a lot of experiments and nothing really blew up. I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I made some money online, but it wasn't nothing that was life changing. Yeah. And so I like I. But from those experiences, from those wins and those losses, mm-hmm. I knew that you know, I started to learn about myself. I learned about my skill set. I learned where I was good at. I learned what I wasn't good at. And I know how to talk to people. I understand psychology. I love personal development, personal growth, and I love connecting with people. And so I made sense. I had the skill set to be a coach. Mm-hmm. And I found a dude on Facebook who actually, he was doing the same stuff. He was making content that made sense and he was making money. Dude was tatted. I was like, I'm going to pay you. You know what I'm saying? I want to experience your coaching. If it's, you know, it's legit, yeah. I'm going to pay you some more and I want you to teach me how to do what you're doing. And that's what ended up happening. I just went to the guru and I was like, look, bro, put me on game. 
man. When you talk to somebody and they can be like be on the one same accord, you can feel that shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> you can feel that shit right there, and it's just like, man, I wish you could just have more conversation with real people. Yeah. That's a reality conversation, you know, and that's that's real. So, uh, what are the costs and sacrifices that you've had to, you know, com when you've committed to this life, the transformation lifestyle? Mm -hmm. What what are the things your costs and sacrifices that you had to change? Definitely. Or develop into. So some sacrifices was really uh, it all, beliefs, bro. There was a lot of different beliefs that I had to let go. Let me come back to you one time, one time. <laughs> That's a fact. Uh, it was some beliefs just about you Woo. know limited beliefs about myself as well as like you know so because I felt like I had like a, such a fragmented family. Yeah. I felt like I I had to choose between like being involved in my family mm -hmm. and being successful. I didn't feel like I could do both. Cause I felt like being successful would mean I needed to step away from my family. Yeah. I didn't want to step away from my family because I felt like, you know what I'm saying, it was too unstable. Or I would find uh, just other like unworthiness or I would just be spending time with the wrong people. I had habits that I didn't even know I had, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I had to really start to evaluate how much my time was worth and really just what I found like enjoyment in. Yeah. Because the things that I was raised around, while you know they was normal to me but just because something is normal doesn't mean it's for you because people be you know raised in abuse abuse of household yeah. and when they see you know abuse they like okay that's just normal that's normalized and when it's not you know just because like no two snowflakes fall the same yeah. so just because that's normal in your house that doesn't mean it's normal in my house yeah. that doesn't mean it's normal all around the world because people do get mad over people in Africa when women still have to get circumcised that's, it's painful, yeah. you know, but there's people writing petitions in America saying that's wrong, but just but it's right for them. So, you know, you, you got to your beliefs are definitely going to be challenged because mine definitely were when I was going through finding out who I really was and what I should believe in, whether it's, you know, relationships, religion, spirituality and all that. Because I started taking philosophy classes in college mm -hmm. and I'm just like, I just learned it's a lot of things that you just got to depend on yourself about. Yeah. You have to have a conversation with just whoever you believe in, the higher power, and just act on it. And if it's, if it's right, he'll, he, she, it will provide. Damn. Facts. Life is good, man. Facts. I, I had to get a, I had to get aware of that because I didn't really grow up in the church. I kind of felt like superstitious about yeah. religion, and I'm not really a religious person, but I would definitely say I'm spiritual. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm tapped in. I understand that everything comes from one place, from one thing, and that everything is one. But it was just like I didn't grow up with like an abundance kind of mentality or anything yeah. like that. I grew up in, in scarcity, yeah. or just uh, self sabotaging and. and Overindulgence, mm -hmm. so I had to really let go of those negative habits. I uh, started eating different. Yeah, I uh, started spending my time different. I didn't have a TV in my bedroom. Like you, just even little small stuff like that, bro. You, How you old just, are you, bro? I'm uh, I'm 24. Okay, oh, I thought you was my age. I mean, I'm about to be 30 this year. It's the beard. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean it's knowledge too. You know, that's facts. No, that's love, bro. Definitely. You didn't get to catch me speak at, uh, at that seminar. I was so I was mad, like, bro. Because I, what did I have? I had a, a dinner and meeting me to that night. Uh, I just signed my app deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get you in touch. Like, hey, I'm going I'm to get you yeah, the numbers because it ain't that much. Yeah. It ain't that much. And it's just like when ESPN dropped, oh, somebody got traded. The notifications matter, bro. Mm -hmm. You're build, not wrong. To build your brand. And so just talking about building your brand and stuff like that, how, do, how important do you think it is to expand your brand and what does it look like? Definitely. Uh, so I would say expanding your brand is is it's important, but I would say the first thing is really having a foundation because yeah. you can't expand if you don't have a foundation. So really having a brand that not only looks good, but it has integrity that you believe in, I think that's critical because I had times where I got out of alignment with the brand and I didn't realize that I was out of alignment, but I couldn't, I couldn't move forward consistently. Yeah. I, I didn't understand why I wasn't being consistent and it was because my beliefs weren't consistent. So I think once you get the, the consistency the piece, that's what I'm saying. Cause you can't act something you don't believe. You gotta believe, you know what I'm saying, in order to act. So once I got the the brand and consistency, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, in alignment with like my identity and my own beliefs, yeah. then I was able to move forward and expand. And honestly, I think that's everything. Like yeah. every second you're expanding, your chest is expanding. You have to expand. Some people be trying to, all right, I'm cool with this, and that's not for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm made to expand. I want to experience more. You get complacent like hype. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Damn, I got bars today. Today. Got bars. Hey, so you know the next round, and this is the last part of the interview, but we call it the Spitfire round. Mm -hmm. 
whatever. I'm weak. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, whatever comes to your head first, you know what I'm saying? You give it an answer, right? So, is there anybody you would like to work with or me? Anybody I'd like to work with or me? Yeah. Uh, at this time, uh, yeah, definitely. I would love to, to work and meet with uh, MIA Fit. Uh, I don't, I don't, his name is Ramsey Principal, but he's like a real fit uh, entrepreneur okay. on Instagram. He lives in Miami. I'm actually finna move to Miami in probably like six months. I want to say I feel like I know who you're talking about. Uh, you pull him up on Instagram real quick. Dude is swole, bro. Swole, he's tatted. And, uh, is he an entrepreneur? He's an entrepreneur. Yeah, he's a fitness entrepreneur. Okay. MIA like Miami and then fit or fitness, something like that. Try fit first. But uh, one of the reasons I respect him, uh, consistency. Yeah. Consist consistency and growth and that's kind of part of like uh my transformation process when i work with people is because you want to make it a holistic thing so it's not just about working on the mind you also want to see like the visible changes that are coming with that so like having a fitness program I'll check it out after. And, <laughs> and alignment with that yeah. type shit okay uh if would you you know uh if there were any movie or any type of movie what would you be in action movie easy okay okay uh, what's the first thing you think of or do when you wake up in the morning? First thing I do is I jump out of bed. Like I literally jump out of bed. I sleep by myself, yeah. but it's just like I wake up early. So sometimes I be drowsy, but like if I don't jump, like uh -huh. it's, it's just I start with energy. Okay. I start with energy. Makes sense. Hot or cold? Uh, hot. Emos or pie? Emos. All right. Uh, what's your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Favorite pair of shoes of all time. That's tough, man. Um, shit. I ain't even gonna fake like I'm a sneakerhead, but my my brother got these LeBrons that are so hard. They yeah. got like the, the lion on the back of them, and uh -huh. I'm like, bro, I, psh, tough as fuck. I ain't mad at it. What's your favorite drink? Favorite drink? Uh, water. <laughs> okay, okay. What's your favorite sports team? Favorite sports team? Uh, it used to be the Celtics, bro. It used to be the Celtics. In 08? What'd you say? In 08? In 08. I think, yeah, because back when they had Rondo, bro. Yeah. I was a super Rondo fan. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I ain't mad at it. If you had a superpower, what would it be? If I had a superpower, what would it be? Uh, unlimited confidence. Ooh, that's hard. You can do anything. Easy. Uh, weekends or weekdays? Uh, weekdays. Alright. Uh, if you were stuck on an island and you could bring three things, what would it be? Shit. Definitely uh, a cell phone. You gotta have reception. <laughs> I gotta have reception. You're not wrong, uh, but I might get a signal or some shit. Okay. Definitely, uh, that's tough. I would bring food and shit, probably some books. I need to figure out a way out. <laughs> I would at least bring a woman. Nah, I'm cool. I might get too distracted. That's the point. If I'm be the, if I'm stuck here, fuck it. If I'm stuck, I'm gonna get unstuck. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> All right. Then if this kind of go back to the first question, but if you could work with anybody, dead or alive, who would it be? Oh, okay. I was Nancy gonna say with no language barrier, so you already know. Well, yeah, hey man, I appreciate you coming on the show. This is Morning Love Podcast. This is JP the Third. Hey, and stay with us. Stay tuned. Follow us below. Uh, we just living. Go ahead and shout out your. Uh, for sure. Uh, find me at JP the third, J A Y P the third everywhere. Uh, check out our. Uh, we actually just shot a podcast. We too, did. Champion Cultivator Podcast. Uh, I'll definitely make sure we get this in the, the link description. But I also want to show some love to to you, Jay, I and also that. to your channel. Uh, I want to give y'all a quick plug, a shameless plug. So I also do have like some courses. So living in the the world we living in now, bro. Yeah. I think the the best superpower is focus. We're so distracted, bro. We're so distracted. These phones, like while they're like so powerful, they keep people distracted and they keep people chained. So I actually have this course called the Focus Guide. You know what I'm saying? It teaches people how to reclaim their focus and where they put in attention. I also have another course called the Phone Mastery Course. I'm shooting this podcast off my phone. You know what I'm saying? I've made five figures easy in the last year coaching. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I teach people how to do the same, how to leverage their phone and stop being suckered by it. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? I definitely throw out some uh, 50 percent off. You know what I'm saying? Discounts or something like that for people who got the show description. Uh, use the uh, we up one. Use the coupon code we up one for 50 percent off both of those courses. Hey. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just to show some love to you and, and the people. Hey, we hey. We got some other things to talk about, cause if that's if that's the case, you know what I'm saying. Maybe we can work on a sponsorship where you, you know what I'm saying. We get your get put your logo on on some stuff. I'm and, saying, you know what I'm saying. Hey, I'm with you. I was just talking to <laughs> some people about this today. So, yeah, we got it. So we up one, cause it's another thought, another you know, 
action that we can do to keep on making our brand expand yeah. and take over. You feel there me? it is, man. All right, man. I appreciate it. For sure. It's fire.